Why the f did you click on this video? Hey everybody, it is me, Anthony Jones, and grab your skateboards and NES losers because today, we're riding Goofy. Now, what I have here with me today is the Goofy Foot NES controller, a product made by Total Rad NES. The Goofy Foot NES controller, as you can see, is a normal NES controller that is actually flipped upside down. This is supposed to help with players who are either left-handed, switching from emulator or playing on a keyboard, and players who are right-handed, trying to attempt hyper-tapping. I'm one of those players who is right-handed and is attempting hyper-tapping for the first time on NES Tetris. Now with a normal NES controller, it can be very difficult to try to tap right-handed. Many people have actually figured out ways of getting around that, but for me, I have a very hard time trying to do those same hand placements or grips as they call them, whereas this gets around that. So, you have the D-pad now on the right side favoring your right hand, making it easier to pull off those very quick tabs to move the pieces around much faster. Now, I've wanted one of these controllers for a while now and got super lucky that they were actually selling them at the CTWC this year. And not only that, but I got mine actually signed by the creator of these. His name is Steve. Now, personally, I'd like to thank Steve because not only was he a super cool dude to talk to and hang out with, but as well, on the final day of the competition, he let us in early to the event just so that we could get better seats. Not only did that help with my video, but as well, that helped with my personal experience of the CTWC this year. It being my first event, that just made it even better and I can't thank him enough. I'm gonna have a pinned comment down below to his social media where you can follow and support him and as well a link to his website to where you can purchase his products. So without further ado, let's get into the Goofy Foot NES controller. Now, I personally bought mine for $50, which I think for a pre-built and modified NES controller, that is a pretty decent deal. Especially since modified NES items can usually cost a lot of money pre-built and pre-modified. So for this one to be $50, I think that's a great deal. And as well, Getting it pre-modified means that you also get this amazing packaging right here. Very reminiscent of the old NES black box games and it does a great job doing it as well. You also get some complimentary, complimentary stickers which is awesome. I'm gonna slap those around. I even got some extras since I got to meet the guy. And that is pretty much it for the outside packaging. So let's get into unboxing the thing. Got some styrofoam, move that off to the side, and then once you take out that piece of styrofoam, here it is, the Goofy Foot NES controller. Seeing it in real life, this is a really, really nice controller, and as well, it's a really clean NES controller. They did a great job in cleaning this thing before shipping it out, and that is a fantastic presentation there. Feeling the buttons now, they feel really solid. Even the D-pad feels really solid to my liking. I usually like a more clicky buttons and D-pad, and this right here, this does the job. Now trying some hyper-tapping. Feels really good, feels really good and solid. Yeah, I can probably tap this thing really, really well, and I cannot wait to test this thing out. Looking at some more cosmetics of the controller, you can also see they added a Goofy Foot overlay sticker, so then you know which way to hold the controller. And as well, if you notice, there is a modified hole right there carved into the controller. What is in that hole exactly is a switch. And what the switch actually does is it flip-flops the A and B buttons and how they're arranged. So if you want them arranged like a normal NES controller style, you can do that. Or as well, you can arrange the A and B buttons to be normal when flipped upside down like this. 
I preferably want them to be normal so that it acts kind of like playing on an emulator or playing on a keyboard instead of it being flip-flopped in a kind of weird and uh, weird and unorthodox in my opinion positioning having the counterclockwise opposite of the clockwise in Tetris. So without further ado let's get into testing out this controller. I can't wait to plug it in, hook it up to my NES and just see how well it performs and hopefully see how well my hyper tapping performs. Alright, so now we are upstairs with the Goofy Foot NES controller hooked up to my NES and we're playing some NES Tetris since that is the main game that I'm going to be utilizing this controller for and as well that's my main NES game that I play. So without further ado, let's play some uh, level 19 I guess and we'll start that off. Um, and I'm just going to be testing out the controller, trying to attempt some hyper tapping here. It is slightly confusing uh, right now, trying to get used to the buttons and the D-pad being on opposite sides of one another, even though they are going in the same exact direction. Well, so far that is actually my uh, best game, 108,000 on level 19, uh, not my personal best of course on level 19 starting, but to be just playing for a few minutes now and getting the hang of it that quick, I think I'm ready to start playing some level 18 and we're going to see how good of a high score I could get with using the Goofy Foot control.
just like that, I was able to get a 430,000 point game on NES Tetris. That right there is about my consistent level of playing, and to see that with this is amazing, especially just half an hour of playing with this. So that really just pro proves that I might have potential in hypertapping thanks to this. Um, I would have never thought that I could be actually that good at hypertapping and play that well with hypertapping as well. So if I played for longer and got actually consistent with this thing, I think I could play a lot more consistent and a lot, but a lot more better than normal. So. That is awesome. I'm super glad that I was able to pick this product up because I seriously cannot wait to continue using it and just see how my NES Tetris playing levels up. So anyways, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, click the bell icon as well so that you can get all notifications. Leave a comment down below what you think about the Goofy Foot NES controller if you have one what are some things that you like about it as well. And please give this video a like and share it because sharing, sharing my videos really helps me out and it really spreads the word about my channel. So thanks again and uh, we'll be seeing you with more videos in the future.